What's going on there, guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earth Master here on this Friday, November 25th, 2022. It is about 12 p.m. California time here. And uh, latest activity on the Earthquake 3D globe here. Let's go ahead and check this out. Shows a 1.4 into the area of California, Southern California to be exact. Uh, we did see a little bit of further movement down off the coast here of Mexico and the uh, uh, looks like the southern end of the Middle America Trench. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here across the map. As we look at California here, lighten up a little bit uh, overnight and yesterday. We have not really seen any major swarms or any unusual activity. Just kind of lighten up in the typical areas around the Southern California region. Uh, a couple twos and some ones out there across the southern portion of the state. Uh, along the San Andreas Fault, not a whole lot. Did have that one earthquake here. Off the uh, Brawley Seismic Zone coming in yesterday. Doesn't look like anything else has came in uh, overnight. Got to gotta watch that area though pretty closely. Over across Nevada, a uh, little spotty movement at best. And uh, the Bay Area, seen some activity along the Calaveras Fault Zone up into the Cobb Mountain area. But... Uh, Looks as though things kind of tapering off a little bit here across the western portion of the states, aside from just basically within the last hour. Uh, it's kind of amazing how things can light up in a short amount of time. Uh, through the Pacific Northwest, not a whole lot going on up here either. Got one earthquake uh, that came in late last night into the area, and also an earthquake up here around the, um, yeah, this is going to be the Montana area. Looks like uh, 2.6 at 15 kilometers deep. Quick glance here at uh, Yellowstone National Park. Let me bring up their latest seismograph stations here. Shows uh, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of swarming, not a whole lot of uh, activity uh, at all here at Yellowstone currently. Things kind of uh, mellowing out in that area. Uh, the Alaska region was lighting up here just a little bit ago. Uh, looks as though maybe the... Uh, Migration of activity is kind of shifted down here to the west coast currently, but uh, earlier this is lighting up pretty significantly throughout the area. Uh, let's bring in the 2.5 and above. Looks like we had uh, quite a few twos and uh, even threes out there uh, over the last 24 hours, including a 3.7 outside of Anchorage near the Valdez area. Uh, but overall, definitely uh, looked like a pretty good push of activity northward uh, throughout the morning time frame. Getting a cluster of quakes over here uh, into the very extreme edge here of the Curl Kamachaka Trench uh, over yesterday and today's time frame. Latest a 4.5 kicking off earlier this morning time frame um, into the uh, southern end of the Curl Kamachaka Trench. We've seen this activity coming up earlier yesterday afternoon time frame, but uh, things just kind of a uh, as is kind of standing still currently not a whole lot of unrest anywhere uh, overnight did see a uh, 5.1 and a 5.7 around the solomon islands area uh, that looks to be in the area that seen the larger earthquake here just a few days ago um, there is the last seven days of activity around the solomon islands area of course we did see that 7.0 in the mix there and definitely not uncommon to see aftershocks of the magnitude 5 and 6 is there to continue uh, for quite some time. The rest of the region throughout Papua New Guinea and the Indonesia area all looks pretty quiet according to the USGS. Uh, look at the EMSC model here. Shows some smaller quakes in the 2 and 3 range. Getting a little cluster of movement here uh, into the Indonesia region south of the Philippines currently. Also some activity uh, coming in overnight looks like around the Himalayas and the Mediterranean area. Uh, let's see what we got for the USGS reporting over here. Looks like they got one of the earthquakes up here. Eastern Afghanistan. I know we got a couple more uh, in this region. But that earthquake coming in earlier this morning. Looks like at about 8.50 or so. My time, uh, Eastern Afghanistan has been seeing quite a bit of activity recently. Nothing showing up here across the Mediterranean far as the the uh, USGS model goes this morning or this afternoon I should say but uh, it's there definitely there are some smaller quakes kicking up there in that region all right let's see what else we got South Sandwich Trench 
did see uh, this was coming in yesterday, late afternoon time frame, 4.7. The rest of the Atlantic Ocean all looks pretty calm and clear for now across the area. Uh, let's see, we kind of skipped out here along the Tonga Trench area. One of those in Fiji, 539 kilometers deep early this morning for a 5.0. Getting some deeper activity once again in this region. Not a whole lot of uptick currently across the Kermadec Trench regions, but uh, there is. It uh, looks like there was a 5.0 uh, coming in yesterday. Uh, let's see if I can get this thing to pop up here. Well, that's kind of weird. My Earthquake 3D program kind of froze up once again. It's been doing that lately, and I'm not for sure why. But uh, we'll get to it eventually. Uh, let's go over here to the Big Island, see what we got going on. Most of the activity looks like it's around Pahala today. Southeastern flank. A little bit of movement overnight around the Mauna Loa area, but no significant swarming currently. No unusual activity, just a very typical swarm fashion around Pahala. And let's see what else we got here. Uh, South America had been kind of quiet here, only a 4.3 and a 4.4. And both of those from yesterday... Uh, one earthquake up into the uh, Colombia area, it looks like, a 4.4 yesterday as well. Movement around Puerto Rico has kind of tapered off. We were watching a little bit of swarming up here around the Puerto Rico Trench, but that has kind of since died off here overnight. New Madrid zone showing a couple earthquakes in the uh, Mississippi area. And the Tennessee area, 1.8 and a 1.5. Uh, one of those from yesterday, one from this morning time frame, so... Kind of kicking up there just a little bit. It's movement outside uh, into the Kansas area yesterday. We did see some movement into the Oklahoma area today. Looks like about 8 o'clock my time. Um, out in this little area, I know this zone's seen some, uh, some movement over the last 30 days or so. I think it's been, uh, there we go. Just a lot of those earthquakes are just under 2.5. So there wasn't a whole lot showing up. As you can see, there was only a 2.9 and now a 3.2 this morning. But uh, over the past 30 days, definitely seen a pretty good swarm of 90 earthquakes here in Oklahoma. So things kind of kicking up there just a little bit again with that three-pointer. Might start seeing a little bit of swarm kicking up there. Texas area did see some further activity overnight. Looks like a couple twos and threes out in the uh, Pecos, Texas area. Let's see what else we got. Um, not a whole lot going on through Canada. Let me check out the Earthquakes Canada map here and see what we have for data. Uh, in the Ontario area, looks like we did see an earthquake here coming in. Uh, UTC time, it looks like earlier. Uh, 3.1, not a big quake at all. Near Cat Lake in the Ontario area. Over here along the western portion, uh, not a whole lot. Some of these are some older movement quakes, so not a whole lot of newer activity kicking up there. The GeoNet servers, we'll go ahead and check them out in New Zealand. And we're going to go to the all magnitudes here and see if we got anything kicking off overnight. Just a couple twos it looks like in the North Island, New Zealand area. Uh, no major movement that I can note there, just couple twos and some ones. Looks like there was a 4.3. That one coming in uh, earlier, it looks like. 300 kilometers deep. That was way north here, it looks like, along the Kermadec Trench. I don't believe uh, USGS is showing that down here. Let me check out the EMSC model here real quick, and we'll glance at this, see what we got. There's some of the activity kicking up there around the North Island, New Zealand. This map right here should give us a little bit better picture of the activity. A couple threes, uh, in North Island and South region of New Zealand there. Uh, let's see, there's that cluster of quakes across the Indonesia area. We'll definitely watch that. And some further movement, of course, along the Peru Chile Trench. Quite a few twos and threes, but nothing major kicking up. Nothing really above 4.0 uh, in that area. So let's check out the trimmer map here today. 
Why does it feel like a Monday? It's kind of weird, even though today's Friday. Just kind of a weird, weird uh, last couple days. Well, let's see. We had about 34 epicenters of tremor yesterday. Uh, we'll see what that brings about later in the update. Uh, volcanic seismicity map here. We're going to check out Mount St. Helens and see what we have for any uh, data being reported here. Alrighty, there we go. Not a whole lot. Um, very minimal activity here in this seismograph station there. The amplitude lines look pretty reasonable as far as reporting any activity. It looks like maybe one here early this morning or late overnight, I should say, and a little small one here within the last hour or so, but nothing major going on across the Mount St. Helens area. Things look pretty minimal across the area there. Let's see, Solar Ham looks like, um, wow, had a G1 possibility kick up there earlier. We did reach into the uh, KP, index, KP index of four, almost uh, almost five overnight. A little unexpected um, event. These guys here mention uh, solar wind stream increased to over 500 KMs during the past several hours and is possible, possibly related to a CME passing close to Earth. So that was definitely not forecasted. And again, like I mentioned last night, Probably one, probably from one of those uh, sea flares that we've seen here over the last couple days uh, from one of these directed sunspots there. The latest imagery of the updated sunspots show these guys are kind of just departing the Earth side of view. There is a little bit of development here with the uh, structure of the magnetic field that could pose uh, another threat for a sea flare, nothing major. But uh, these other sunspots here looking pretty bleak. Not a whole lot of potential there with those. Uh, the overall forecast looks like 40% chance for a C flare, M flare at 5, and less than that for the other categories. Not a whole lot going on there on the sun currently. No major coronal holes. And after this unexpected little event, we should calm back down uh, into the green zone where things will just um, we'll wait for the next events. Looks like, uh, yeah, it kind of still looks like we're a little bit elevated here in the current solar wind data uh, with a speed elevated and a little bit of instability there across the uh, interplanetary magnetic field structure. Other than that, um, we'll uh, look for some auroras at possibly the higher latitudes there. All right, guys, have a good day. Stay safe out there. We're going to jump off here and Enjoy the rest of the day. Actually, I'm going to try to fix this Earthquake 3D program for whatever reason. It's just, I don't know. It seems like it happens when I switch back and forth here um, between the, uh, well, the browser that I'm using here and the uh, the Earthquake 3D program, but I'll, I'll get it. Have a good day, folks. We'll catch you guys a little bit later. Peace out.